Hello ladies and gentlemen, Nathan Calabria is here again, and I've got a new beard combo with my mustache. Like it? Anyway, I have something to show you that I never showed anyone else in the world before. Nine years ago, back when I was at college, I made a storybook starring Frederick's niece, Alyssa. I first created her for my story, Alyssa in Wonderland. It's an old paper book I made. The story is inspired by Alice in Wonderland and mixed with the style of Yellow Submarine. It is also the origin story of where Propeller and Gork came from, because they are strange creatures who come from a strange land. But a year later, I decided to go with the character-making generator in Frederick and Friends. I'm going to read you the story now and we'll see how I got so much more creative back in 2015. Alyssa in Wonderland by me, Nathan Calabria There was a young girl named Alyssa Fox. She dreamed of having her own adventure just like her uncle. One day, Alyssa found an old abandoned well in the woods behind her school. She tossed a penny into the well and made a wish. She wished she could go to a place that she's dreamed of, so she can have her own adventure. She wondered if the penny has hit the bottom of the well yet. So Alyssa looked down, but when she looked too close, she fell down. As Alyssa was falling, she passed through various objects, and when she hit the bottom, she landed in a huge whipped cream pie. The hallway seemed strange. It looked odd-shaped and wonky. At the end of the hall, Alyssa found a small door that she can't fit through it. Next to the door, there was a bottle sitting on a table with a small inscription that says, Drink it. So Alyssa drank the bottle, and she suddenly started to grow smaller. Either that, or the table was getting taller. Now that Alyssa is so little, she can fit through that tiny door. As she walked through the door, she grew back to her normal size, so the drink from the bottle didn't last longer. Alyssa had discovered a strange place that she saw in her dreams, and it's called Wonderland. Alyssa wandered into the Wonderland woods, and it looked pretty weird to her. There were multicolored trees, red and blue changing plants, curly branches, and pink skies. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a flying purple cheetah just appeared in front of Alyssa. It was the Cheshire Cheetah. She said, What are you doing out here all alone? You should be at a tea party with the Hatter. Alyssa said, A tea party sounds like fun. Can you please take me there? The Cheshire Cheetah nodded her head and told Alyssa to follow her. So there they were. The Mad Tea Party, owned by a wolf named Hinkle Hambertson the Hatter. I brought a guest hatter, the Cheshire Cheetah said. Then the Hatter said, Ah, splendid! Come over, have a seat, miss. Would you care for tea and a chocolate bliss? Now the Hatter is a loony fellow, but he does good poetry, and he's a kind gentleman. Alyssa said, Thank you, sir. My name is Alyssa. Who are you, sir? Why, I'm the Mad Hatter, indeed I am. What brings you here, you little ham? Alyssa replied, I wished for an adventure, and I fell down a well. I think my wish came true. The Hatter laughed, Ha! Huh, you can't just have an adventure all by yourself. Why, you need a friend, not a toy from a shelf. Alyssa drew a picture of an imaginary friend she made up. Alyssa said, This is my pretend friend. He is small and fun, and I wish he's real. I call him Propeller. The Hatter examined the drawing, and he said, I can make your friend come to life. I tried it once on my pretend wife. Abracadabra and Snick Snack Sam, bring this creature to life and Zam! And there he is, a little creature that became Alyssa's real friend. He has stick arms, stick legs, and a propeller on top of his head. His name is Propeller. Alyssa jumped with cheer and thanked the Hatter so much for his magic. 
they became best friends and had fun together. While Alyssa and Propeller were playing hide-and-seek, suddenly a giant red hand just pounced towards the hatter. The hand said, Stick em up! Off with your hat! And there were guards that are red chess pieces. They are all in control of the red-hot-tempered Queen of Hearts. The Queen is really not that nice of a lady. She's so powerful that she couldn't stand the good inhabitants of Wanderland. And she's really crossed with the Hatter for some reason. So the Red Hand carried the Hatter and flew away while the guards marched ahead. Alyssa and Propeller were so scared that they had to rescue the Hatter. So they went on following the trail to where the guards are going. But when there were more guards approaching, Alyssa and Propeller seeked cover into an unusual mushroom field. The mushrooms glowed into different colors, and the stems were lava lamp tubes. There was a big tie-dye colored caterpillar sitting on the biggest mushroom, and he said, Say, what's happening with you, girl? You've been messing with the queen? Alyssa told the caterpillar that the hatter's been kidnapped and wondering where the guard's taken him. And the caterpillar said, Say, baby, there's nothing you should worry about. You should worry more about yourself than worry about other people. Dig it. That didn't help Alyssa as much. Hatter could be in danger, so they continued. When Alyssa and Propeller left the mushroom field, they both sat on a big rock just to rest. Alyssa kept wondering if Wonderland is real or not. And while she was pondering, all of a sudden, the rock started to move. Arms and feet popped out, and it wasn't a rock. It was a big clay monster named Gorg. He looked at Alyssa and Propeller and said with a deep, low voice, Hello, my name is Gorg. He tipped his little bowler hat to greet the two travelers. Alyssa and Propeller greeted him too. She said, Hello, Gorg. My name is Alyssa, and this is Propeller. You look pretty big and tough. Want to come with us? We're looking for the Hatter. And Gorg replied with a low voice, I'd love to. Gorg would like to be with new best friends. And so they all went off together. The Cheshire Cheetah appeared and said, If you want to find the Hatter, you'll have to follow me. So in order to find the Hatter, they had to travel through the three magic forests. The Forest of Time, the Forest of Music, and the Forest of Science. And so they made it to the castle of the Red Queen of Hearts. Alyssa said, Wow, it looks heavily guarded. So what's the plan of getting inside? The Cheshire Cheetah was cool. She had a plan. She morphed into one of the Queen's guards. I'm so clever, she said with a meow. Alyssa and her friends pretended they were prisoners, and the cheetah pretended to be a guard. The real guards let them pass, and one of them said, The queen will be pleased about this. Then the other guard said, Yeah, they'll be the next victims for the big event. Alyssa wondered what the big event was, and it turns out to be in a battle arena. The hatter was in the center of the arena with chains on his wrist. But when he saw Alyssa and her friends, he knew that they'd find some way to rescue him. The Red Queen shouted, Release the Red Hand! The cage raced up, and out came the awful flying Red Hand. Make way! The Hand said. You're going to be flattened like a pancake! Alyssa had to think of a way, and quick. She found a hand sanitizer dispenser and thought of an idea. So Alyssa told Gorg to break the dispenser off the wall. He gave it to Propeller and flew over the hand and squirted some sanitizer on top of it. The red hand started screaming with pain because his weakness is hand sanitizer. He yelled, Ah! I'm burning! Then he flew away. 
the Red Queen got so angry that she demanded the guards to seize Alyssa and her friends. But with the Red Hand gone, the guards decided to drop their weapons and not take orders from the Queen anymore. Instead, they decided to take the Queen to the dungeon. The guards didn't like the way she treated them for all these years. The Hatter was free, and so are the good inhabitants of Wanderland. Gorg said in a low, deep voice, It was Alyssa's idea to save the Hatter. And everyone cheered for Alyssa. Sadly, it was time for Alyssa to go home. The Hatter said, It was fun while it lasted having you here. But you can't stay very long, your other friends will fear. Just eat this cookie so you can go back home. We'll never forget you, and we won't be alone. Propeller didn't want Alyssa to leave, so the Hatter allowed him to go with her. So Alyssa broke the cookie in half and shared it with Propeller. When they ate the cookie, they magically jumped out of the well, and Alyssa was back at home. When Alyssa looked up, in front of her was the wise rooster, Justin. He said, Remember your Uncle Frederick said that you'd have an adventure? Well, it looks like you've did. And I see you made a new friend, too. Just be careful where you wander off to. You may not know what's out there. But one thing you can know is that adventure can be anywhere. Now let's take you home. And that was my first storybook design, Alyssa in Wonderland. I can't believe how old it was. It's been a long time since I made that story, and my creativity just keeps getting better all the time. Pretty neat how my art history keeps evolving. Well, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!